G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm in a lift at the moment. Uh, I'm at the Langham Hotel for the Penfolds Recorking Clinic in Melbourne. This is a bottle of uh, Bin 389, a, uh, a nice 1987 vintage. We're going to follow it through the, through the Recorking Clinic to show you exactly what goes on. So come on, follow me. We'll, uh, we'll go and start the process. Peter Gago, Peter, a pleasure Welcome. to see you here Welcome. today. Welcome. Look, I've got a bottle of 389 that I'd love you to have a look at, the way you treat all of the bottles here ah, at the Recorking Clinics. Goodness, mate. Before we open it, can you just give me an idea of why Penfolds spends all of this effort to look at bottles that you made years and years ago? Right, well, I guess you could say it is the ultimate in after-sales service, and that sounds a bit glib. However it is, you know, Rolls-Royce, if we think of them, they'll look after cars for a while out there in the roads, but not 10 years later, 20 years later, 50 years later, which is in effect what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, but after 19 years, we've recorked actually almost, almost 100,000 bottles. That is incredible, 100,000 bottles. Not just in Australia, we've done clinics, a number of them in Manhattan, a number in London, but also Zurich, Munich, Hong Kong, Singapore, right across planet Earth. So. Let's not even think of this as being perhaps a Penfold recorking clinic, but Australian red wines and collections of them globally. Yeah. So, you know, that flag is being flown. It's a beautiful thing for the Australian wine industry, but definitely for Penfolds, obviously, it's a chance to, I guess, get to look at the stories behind the oh. bottles that you've you know, patted on the back and said goodbye to. Yeah, absolutely. And, and every bottle that does come in is a story. And that's a lovely thing. And, you know, at these clinics, if you were to do a sociological, anthropological study of what we have, you know, we have everything from, you know, the haughty-taughty corporate billionaire types through to the mums and dads, the grandparents, quiveringly handing over family heirlooms, some of them almost breaking down, others leaving so elated. You get every spectral array of reaction. Yeah. yeah. And what's the Melbourne Clinic been like so far? Because you're in the second day now. Have you been getting lots of wines that you've been able to you know, put the seal of approval on? Oh, absolutely. We've had a few sad cases, but not many. In fact, with clinics year by year, we're finding less and less bad bottles. And I think after 19 years, you know, the educational element about storing, provenance, drinking wine when it should be drunk, all that's starting to gain some traction. But we had a fellow here yesterday in this very spot. He flew in from Sydney bearing two bottles of Grange, one from 1984, his birth year. He was only 26. Mm. The other one, a 1955 Grange with its level down. And I looked at it, and I didn't want to say to him at the time, don't like your chances, <laughs> but I didn't like his chances. No. Anyway, but the story had a happy ending. It was a magnificent bottle of 55. Wow. So his plane trip from Sydney to Melbourne was most worthwhile. Definitely. And he wasn't walking out. He was sort of hovercrafting out. <laughs> he was on another level as he walked out of the room. Magic. And did, did he tell you his plans for the 55? He will be drinking it with family. Apparently, it came from his grandfather. Wow. Yeah, but he flew. Literally, I'm not making up the story. He flew from Sydney to Melbourne because he missed out on the Sydney Clinic a few yeah. weeks ago. Oh, that is a wonderful story and great to hear yeah. that he's going to drink it. Yeah. Well, we just opened some 67s and others. And look, the other thing, and I'm glad you brought in a bin throughout nine because a lot of people still think after 19 years that these are Grange recorking clinics. They're actually clinics for any Penfold red wine that's 15 years or older. So we see Canunga Hills, Bin 28, St Henri's, 707s, 389s, everything in between. It'll probably almost be interesting to see some of those, I guess, consumer level wines with great age on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's nothing better than pouring a 76 Canunga Hill or a 1962, you know, St Henri, and people are, oh, I only bought it in for the sake of opening it. You know, you mean it's still good? Yeah. You, know, you get every reaction. That's great. All right, well, let's have a look at this wine right. and take us through the process. Okay, sure. Uh, we can see here that probably a bottling the level was up here and it has dropped that distance in what 23 years yeah now if you were going to open this bottle in the next i don't know year or so you wouldn't worry about that why, why take the cork out now save it for then mm. however if you're wanting to sell this for a silver wedding anniversary or the birth of or whatever whatever mm. you probably would want to look at it because it's now hitting that danger zone that point of curvature yep and not only are you increasing the volume of headspace, but you're also increasing that surface area as it comes down here. Of course. So we quite often will talk people out of recorking if we know they're going to drink and open the bottle fairly soon anyway. Yeah. 
But in this instance, you've just made mention that, uh, no, this is saved for 2017 <laughs> when it turns 30. And you can see here, you know, that sign of seepage and not leakage, but absorption into the cork. Yeah. Now, that to me would imply that there's been a little bit of heat over time and fluctuation in temperature inducing mm. pressure changes within the bottle. You know, a lot of people blame the corks for these sorts of issues. It's actually the storage of the wine that has induced that pressure fluctuation yes. and hence, you know, the, the movement. And with screw cap bottles, quite often you look at them and you don't see anything, so there's no visual cue. With a cork bottle, it's not a bad thing, but people blame the corks, not the summering. Oh,